What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's good to see you today in the Speak and See show. I ask you like and subscribe if you find this information valuable. Please click that notification button as well to get more of it. A lot of people have called me up today. I actually had family members call me up today and uh, gotten a lot of emails from YouTubers saying, hey, my crypto.com account won't let me back in and I'm not sure why. And I said, well, hmm, let me go check that out. And as soon as I tried to log in, guess what? It wouldn't let me in either. So I'm going to show you how to fix this. If this is the problem for you, there have been other problems in the case, but the new one today as of 117 2022 is that you're needing to reset a uh, authentic your two factor authentication needs to be reset. So I'm we're going to go over that and exactly how I did this today. So first of all, you clicked into crypto.com and you got this came up. I'm going to do this on both a little bit on the uh, uh, Android, Android and a little bit on the iPhone as well, just to give you some uh, visuals of how this works. Okay, so you're going to mm, click on crypto.com and it's going to come here and it's going to, it's going to come here. You're going to have to type in your address You say log in by submitting your email to confirm your verification. It's going to come up. It's going to say success. Yeah, you did it, right? Um, let me check. It says open email. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and open our email. Log in. Yeah, this is great, right? Perfect. So we're going to go in. This is what's going to open up on your phone. I'm using an Android at this time. It's, huh, what's this say? Log into crypto.com again. Hmm, okay, well, we'll enter our email. Like it says. Yeah, okay, perfect. We slide this over into there. Bam. We're good, right? Yeah, I thought so too. And <laughs> probably you did as well. Why is it saying, unfortunately, we cannot offer exchange services to for you uh, due to the market regulations? Please use the same email you signed up with. Well, I did, and you did too, probably. What they're doing is they're making us reset uh, our auth authentication through an authenticator. And if you already have one, well, you're going to have to make another one. I tried it again. I thought maybe there was a problem on their part. We got the right, I had the right. Uh, email in mine is blocked out up here but uh it was correct so then we go ahead and uh, we saw that confirm uh form resubmission we're just gonna go ahead and uh avoid annoy ignore that excuse me we're gonna log back in email address correct intelligent verification again and i'm sure you're probably gonna have to go through this one or two times uh check your email so we're gonna do that again log into my crypto.com okay. let's see what happens we log in and we launch crypto.com app. Look, we're in a different place. This is good, right? Yeah, of course it is. We move forward, verify my identity. I use my fingerprint. Okay, here we go. In order to safeguard your account, you're required to reset your 2FA. Please be advised that you will need to set up crypto.com in your authentication app again. Your existing verification code in your authenticator app will no longer work. So you probably have already done this before but you're gonna to have to reset it again. So you're gonna go ahead and click down there, uh, set up to FA. You're gonna click on that button. And when you click on that button, this pops up and it says, as an extra security measure, you're required to enable two-factor authentication for withdrawals to whitelist wall uh, wallet addresses. If you lost or need your update to update your phone, you can restore to FA if you save the secret seed provided when setting your 2FA device. If you need to reset, please refer to the link below. Okay, so what we're, it's just telling us that we need to reset the authentication. So we go ahead and uh, go forward on this. We add our fingerprint. And here we go. It gives us this uh, two-factor authentication uh, code to set up. And now this one on the bottom here, right here, this will be a copy. You're gonna copy this code uh, right here. That's your authentication key. And if you don't have Google Authenticator um, hooked up yet, I use Google Authenticator. I can show you that real quick as well. So before I, I, before I go further with this, I'm gonna show you how I set up my Google Authenticator. You, and you will do the same thing in your iPhone. It's the same process. Okay, you're gonna go into Google Play Store and click, type in Authenticator, and I'll show you the one I use, which most people do use. This is the um, 
you, you can find which one you'd like, but this is the Google Authenticator. It's right here. As you can see, I already have it installed. What you'll need to do is install that and set up an account. And this is how it's gonna look. Okay, so you're gonna install that. Okay, so now we're gonna go back into crypto.com and you may have to go through those steps again if you didn't have the Authenticator already installed. Up here, cancel, da, da. Okay, which brings us back to this point. So we're going to copy this bottom uh, number right here. And then it's gonna bring us to setting up two-factor authentication. Uh, and now we go into here. So this is what it's going to look like when you go to log in to your Authenticator app right here. Now on the very bottom, it's kind of blurry here where you can't see it, but you'll see this plus sign and that will be shown as well on your Android. Um, you're going to click that. This is on an iPhone right now, but you're going to click that. It's going to come up and you're going to click the bottom one. It says scan a QR code or enter a setup key. You're going to click enter a setup key. That's the code that you just copied from the crypto.com. Now you're gonna go in here and you're gonna add it, add the key, this pad right here and paste it. You're gonna paste it into there and up top here, and then up top you are going to name your new crypto.com account. Uh, so name it differently than your other one or else it's gonna come up in the authenticator as a, uh, it's gonna look the same. You're not gonna know which one to click. But if you haven't done this already, you can name it crypto.com or whatever you'd like to. So, so you name, go ahead and name that. Now you're going to have your, your two-factor authentication code. Uh, it's going to come up into your account. Now I'm doing this one I'm showing you is what it comes up with. And this is how it's going to look in your Android. After you've done that. It's going to show there's the new one that I just clicked in. This was the old one. That was the one that they're telling me I can't use anymore or you're, they're telling you you can't use anymore. So you got to reset that one. So I just this is the new one here. So now I'm going to that's my new code for uh, the crypto.com. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to uh, double click that because if you just click it once, nothing comes up. So you just hold my hand on. I was trying to get it from there. That wasn't working, getting my finger on it. So then I had to lift up and try again. I don't know if it's the same way on Apple, but so you come here and you click on that. And what that does is it verifies code copied to a clipboard. So there's my code. Now it just copied that code. Now look, it just refreshed right there. It will refresh every like 10 seconds. So you, this is time sensitive. So you got to bring it over back into your crypto.com uh, account to verify and reset your password from there. So we're back into here. Okay, so we go back into our crypto.com and here's where we will be uh, adding that six digit number. If you copied it, you can paste it or if you just memorized it, you can go ahead and uh, type it in however you'd like to, but you're gonna enter that six digit code from your authenticator inside of the uh, authentic, authentic, authentic <laughs> authentication uh, area right up here in this spot. Up here, you put your six digits into that area and click enable. And there you go, your 2FA is enabled successfully. That should do it, that should make uh, that, that should bring your account back up to speed. It should give them authorization to go ahead and let you back into your crypto.com account, which is a beautiful thing, isn't it? One thing that I really hate and it really sucks is, hey, I can't get into my money. There we are. We're back into our crypto.com account. Hopefully this helps and hopefully you like and subscribe.